Now, I want to publish this and put it out onto the, the web for my uh, colleagues to collaborate on. How am I going to do that? Well, again, it's Excel, so I want to publish it out to SharePoint. Before I do that, I'd like to kind of pretty it up a little bit. So I'm going to apply some graphics and hide the grid lines and make it good looking. So I'm going to click Set Theme, and now I've formatted this ready to share. To publish, I choose to publish to SharePoint, and I can save this up to the SharePoint server. Now, actually, to push 20 million rows up even in this demo would take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to show you one that we created earlier here. So let's have a look at this one. And here is a report center with Gemini projects published to them. Now, you'll notice that this is kind of nicely rendered, and we have many reports here. And effectively, because I'm a power user, and I'm used to collaborating in a social environment, we have social tools for collaboration. So for example, we can score the different um, projects that people have published. I can look at who's using it. I can even set a refresh rate so that this project will refresh itself automatically from the data warehouse. Just like SharePoint. Just like SharePoint, exactly. Now, when I want to browse this, if I'm a user who doesn't have access to the, the original project, I'll just click on this and choose to um, see this in a browser. And now I'm seeing my report in a web browser with a completely thin client. And you know, the slicers work in the thin client too. So as a power user, I have published a refreshable business intelligence solution that can be browsed in the thin browser throughout the enterprise. Now this is incredibly powerful. Um, I think the interesting question of this and the other half of the fairy tale to go behind the curtain for a moment is what does this look like to an IT professional? What does it look like to a, um, to a business intelligence professional? Well, let's see what it looks like from the IT side. I'm just going to flip on here and open up a little demo of a dashboard that we, we can provide for IT. And one of the things that's significant here is, first of all, in the SharePoint environment, when I come to manage this application, well, look what the application is. It's analysis services. This is a traditional BI solution that I've published. We like to say that the BI professional, when somebody starts using Gemini, the BI professional hasn't lost a daughter, they've gained a son. Um, a kind of good-looking and intelligent son as well. What could be better? So from this point of view, there's no new technology stack. This is not an alternative to traditional BI. This is actually business intelligence that they're deploying for partners, for IT, for business intelligence professionals. This is analysis services. Now, the IT department, of course, in the fairy tale, they had the problem. They didn't know the solution existed. And they didn't know that um, people were using this actively. So let's go in here and look at the operations dashboard we provide IT. They can see which servers are active. They can see which servers are being used over time, how that changes over time. They can see which of these objects that we've posted, and we call them sandboxes for now, and it's essentially the data layer in analysis services and the presentation layer in Excel and Excel services. Which one of these are getting most popular? And if they're getting popular, which one of these is actually maybe stressing the server, or which one of these is becoming used so much that the volume of data is growing and the volume of users are growing? And then what can they do about that? Well, remember that I said this is, it really is a traditional BI solution in many ways that they're publishing. There's no new technology here. So when we say that we want to do something about it, if I find that an application is actually becoming so powerful and so widely used in the enterprise, I may say, let me formalize that. Let me upgrade this, not so much in terms of upgrading it for better performance, but formalizing the solution. So it's come from being something that a power user built to being something that IT can manage. And this is what we're talking about with Gemini. The twin stars are these power users who can work in Excel and the IT and business intelligence professionals who can manage this like analysis services and like SharePoint. And that's really the essence of Gemini. Great. Okay. Before I kind of head off stage, I just want to say one thing. I've, I've been around this business for a very long time, and I've never been so excited to show a product to people. Um, and this isn't even beta one. This isn't even our first coding milestone we're showing you. I'm incredibly proud of the team that built this. They're doing an amazing job. So thank you very much. Yep. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Thank you.